promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome to Quick Shop Reviews. Uh, since there's nothing on at the cinema, it is over Christmas, we're on, officially on January the 1st, 2023. Nothing on over Christmas, including Avatar The Way of Water, because I'd rather poke my eyes out with a rusty spoon. I know that's probably bad saying things like this when I give you my thoughts on films. I'm not a critic or anything like that. I don't get paid to do that. I just get paid to... Well, I don't, I don't even get paid... I just like making videos to give you my opinions on the films that I've seen and I just damn right don't want to go and see that film having watched the first one which you can find the review number 205 Avatar on Quick Shot Reviews I am your host Luke and you are the Cheap Shot Nation there has been a smorgasbord of films being released on streaming services though to fill in the time and it has been almost three weeks since I've been to the cinema, which I feel like I, I deserve like a, a month back for not being able to go because there's nothing on apart from Avatar. Anyway, um, released on the 23rd of December in the UK, it is the second in the series of mysteries known as Knives Out. This one's called Glass Onion, a Knives Out Mystery. It is <clears throat> uh, starring Daniel Craig as Benoit LeBlanc, uh, Edward Norton as Miles Braun, Kate Hudson as Birdie J, Dave Bautista as Duke Cody, uh, Janelle Monet as Andy Brand, uh, Catherine Hahn as Claire Dybala, uh, Leslie Odom Jr. as Lionel Toussaint, 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 yeah, there we go. Uh, Jessica Henwick as Peg, um, Madeline Klein as Whiskey, and Noah Segan as Doral. Uh, <clears throat> so they are all the people that are within this film, part of the mystery that is The Glass Onion. So... As usual, you can join me on all the social medias, uh, including the podcasting channel. You can find me on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. So uh, check those out. If you're perhaps travelling in your car and you can't watch the video, um, although it is basically a podcast with a uh, picture behind it, as you can see right now, um, I do hope to get back to having a camera on me and so you can see my expressions and things like that because I feel like that does add something to what I do uh, when you can see the expression uh, me of me giving my reviews then that makes a huge difference in my, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to get on to the main part of the video. I'm not going to explain anything just yet but I'm going to give you my thoughts on Glass Onion a Knives Out Mystery. Onion and Knives Out Mystery was directed by Rian Johnson and written by the same person as well. So she, she uh, wrote all of the things, or sorry, he wrote um, all of the uh, script and everything and, and came up with the mystery. It's quite a tangled web he does weave. And uh, although this is not quite, I don't think it's quite as good as the first one. It's never going to be as good as the original. It is very, very watchable. It is available on streaming on Netflix. And I believe it is a Netflix original. It shows you how much power Netflix has at the moment. So the official description. Five long-time friends 
are invited to a Greek island home of a billionaire, Miles Bron. All five know Bron from way back and owe their current wealth, fame and careers to him. The main event is a murder weekend, murder mystery weekend. I'm going to add something to that. It's a murder mystery weekend, like, you know, you send out invitations and you give people characters and they have to come to your your soiree and play those characters and someone dies and you have to work out the mystery. Basically, Cluedo. But real, except no one dies. Unless it's a Knives Out mystery. Uh, so, yeah, Bron... Uh, the weekend game with Bron to be the victim. So right from the offset, Bron is set out as the victim. You have to solve his murder. That is his game. Uh, in reality, they have all got reasons to kill him for reals. Although also invited was Benoit Blanc, the world's greatest detective. Now... The world's greatest detective is clearly Batman, but I will give it the benefit of the doubt because Benoit Blanc is pretty good. Uh, so there you go. That is that. So, yeah, uh, Glass Onion. They go to this island. Um, they're all snobs. They all have reason to kill Benoit Blanc. They, they all have uh, characters by which, if they got popped off, you wouldn't really give two hoots that kind of thing uh, and they play them to perfection and it's all uh, quite modern in terms of how it's done because uh, for example Dave Batista's character is a twitch streamer um, and he's making his money on that of course and uh, a bit of satire he still lives with his mother so yeah, there's there's a lot to unravel here. Many layers, much like an onion, as it were, where there's lots of swerves, lots of curveballs, and uh, just it's just it's really good. I enjoyed it. My dad, I sat with my dad and watched it, and he has the attention span of a gnat. Um, for example, if you're watching TV and the adverts come on, he will turn over to see something else on TV. And if it's got adverts, he will sit and watch those adverts instead of the adverts on the programme that he's watching. So that gives you an idea of uh, what uh, kind of attention span he has. He actually sat down and watched all of this film. Uh, and even he said it was pretty darn good. And um, that is a double thumbs up from him. And he hasn't seen the first one. Uh, although I get the feeling most of his like of this film was because Daniel Craig's in it. And he recognises him as James Bond. But for me, it's beautifully shot. It's wonderfully realised. The acting is really good. And it's interesting. It's It has that right amount of peril you don't know who's going to die next uh, and as far as it goes there isn't a lot of people that that die in this film uh, so you know it's not like popping one off at a time it is genuinely a mystery who's done it and it it makes sense for the person who has done it to keep as many people alive as possible so there's more, as I said, mystery to it. Um, it is very much worth a watch. I really enjoyed this one. Then again, I really enjoyed the first one. I saw that on a preview at uh, the Odeon Cinema. And uh, yeah, way back when, way back in 2019, when they did do those things and you actually got emails to tell you about them. So yeah, like I said, not as good as the first one. But I did really enjoy this. And uh, Netflix is coming up drums. They're doing some really good stuff recently. And, uh, you know, going straight to Netflix streaming. And they're also bringing out films in the cinema, i.e. Matilda the Musical, which obviously will be on Netflix, I'm guessing, fairly soon. Although they are doing two showings of Matilda, one as a sing-along and one without. I wonder how many people actually sing along to it. Do I just got the words to it? 
Um, I again, I will mention that I really liked that film, so uh, I'd again go and see that one rather than Avatar. But it's up to you. You are the Cheap Shot Nation, and if you're listening or watching this, then you know what you like. And I'd encourage you to go and watch things in the cinema rather than waiting for them on streaming because the cinemas are the lifeblood of film and they always will be even though you've got streaming services so yeah definitely watch this one if you've got access to Netflix and if you've seen Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery then please get in touch with us and let us know what you thought of the movie it is brilliant when we get discussions going and I really enjoy doing so. And that's, that's it for this one. It's now New Year and uh, since I'm recording this, I'm going to be watching the New Year special uh, later today. Having recorded this, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And um, yeah, so just... Time to wish you Happy New Year and uh, hope all the best will come your way in 2023, including more videos from Quick Shot Reviews, of course. I've been your host, you are the Cheap Shot Nation, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>